Hello everyone, welcome to Phasmophobia. Today, we're heading into Maple Lodge on Professional. So to kind of reinstate what I've been doing here, on the small maps I've been running through on Nightmare, and now I want to visit these bigger maps on Professional, just to kind of enjoy them more, and just take it like a normal professional game, and just, even though we're on a bigger map, and just make that the main challenge. So as we get in here, I know the breaker's all the way over by the cabin, so I'm gonna work my way over there, but... Kind of like with on high school and prison, I am enjoying just roaming around these maps. Now the thing is, I should have a lantern if I'm going to do that. But I do want to get the breaker on right away, so let's just go over there. So I am curious to see where we're going to end up getting the ghost this time. It would be cool if it was in the cabin, because, I mean, that would basically make it a house map. But it would be cool, because I don't get it in here too often. Now, is there going to be a slender man around here? There, actually turn that on, please. I have had the ghost over here one time, and... I mean, it was in the old Maple Lodge, too. See, there's a bear trap out there, but I don't think the ghost could interact with that one. Also, oh, is there, like, new lights going out there? I don't... Maybe I'm just dumb, but I don't remember there being lights going that way. Maybe I just really don't remember the new version of Maple Lodge. Well, I'm gonna walk through here. I I started learning the heat cursed items, but... Well, there we go. I knew that would be in here. We don't need a photo of the ghost, but... I don't think those shoes are out of place. Man, it, I am getting tunnel vision, though, with how dark it is in here. We didn't get rain, thankfully. It's just a normal night. I don't see anything out of place, and I'm not seeing my breath. So maybe I'm just gonna go ahead and walk back around. But I'm gonna actually, like, maybe walk my way back out, take sanity, because I'm afraid of losing my sanity. And then I want to walk around with that lantern. That's another reason I'm enjoying this, is because I got that tier 3 firelight. And it's fun walking around with the lantern and actually kind of keeping your sanity up with it. Well, we have this shitter as a hiding spot. I mean, it's professional, so we should have a good amount. I've had the ghost in here a good amount of times lately, though. Maybe it's just near the campfire. I haven't been hearing anything. Let's get some main lights on as I go around here, though. Alright, I'm gonna drop my stuff here. Let's see what my sanity is. I feel like it's gonna be alright, cause, I mean, I always expect it to go down pretty quickly, but it's a medium map now. The ghost is being active. Uh, let's leave it at that so the ghost will continue being active. I'm gonna take the light. And, huh. I mean, I could throw in some stuff. Let's just throw in a couple items just to be able to have it in there. Alright, I'm gonna drop this evidence stuff and then just take my main equipment. But, huh, do I want... No, let's not worry about photos this game. I just want the EMF. Just to make sure we're going the right direction. Alright, lighting my trusty lantern. Oh, that was a firefly over there. Oh my god, it looks like things walking back there with the how it's glowing. But it's just them flying around. Now, do I see something out of place here? I mean, stuff is already kind of thrown around, but I think this is like where it's supposed to start. Give us a sign. Ooh, see, that looks... Yeah, but I bet that's probably supposed to be like that. I do not hear anything, and this ghost was active. So let's just take another lap around. Could be in here. Man, so that's what's so cool. I was thinking about the old version of this map, but I really haven't played the new version enough to even really experience it. Whenever I think about these bathrooms, I always remember the original version. Maybe I should have gotten my thermometer, but this time I am doing what I wanted. We are getting to walk around a bit. Wow, this door is wide open. But I'm not hearing anything. But luckily, this is what the lantern's for, and this is why I wanted to stick with the tier 3 items. I am going to wait a bit to prestige. It'll probably be a good amount of time. Have you been throwing these, or these are just probably missed? Yeah, I didn't even realize, even on this map, there's some stuff that kind of looks already out of place. But it's not nothing like Point Hope, where so many things are just like naturally out of place, it looks... Uncanny. I mean, Point Hope is like the best looking map so far. And they're supposed to be doing reworks too for like all the other maps though. So. First with Bleasdale and Grafton, so oh, look at this. Hopefully we'll be getting those soon. And no camera. Alright, do I just take this or come back for it? I'm probably going to forget it if I don't pick it up, so let's just pick it up. You know, the ghost could be in the center here. I kind of just walk through. Let me look in here. And then I'm going to go back around and maybe check the cabin again. Maybe it really is just somehow in the cabin. Did I hear something? When you walk in here, everything sounds so different. 
Well, I guess I'm walking back through storage. Please don't be in here. I've had enough ghosts in this room. I'm hoping to just walk by and get lucky with a noise or something. Are we really gonna have to go all the way back in here? I don't want you to turn off the breaker. Maybe you're out here like that gin was. Give us a sign. I'm gonna walk back through the uh, cabin here. The thing is, man, I need to go find the cold room now. You're not like, I mean, this is all one area. The pier and then this, so I'm not seeing my breath anywhere. Let's check the cabin. And then I'm gonna leave again and finally bring in that thermometer. Is my breath cold in here though? Is anyone here? I've been holding my mic open just in case the ghost hears me. I don't think it's over here. But I got what I wanted, <laughs> having a harder time finding the ghost. I mean, really the breath is all you gotta get lucky with if you can find the room once it's cold enough. What sucks is if it's a mare, it won't turn on the light. And somehow, it hasn't turned on the light, hasn't done something. You used to always look for a door out of place, but you can't really do that anymore because they already start out of place. I'm not going to walk back through here. Maybe it's in the center. This is a little campground I've never really had the ghost in. God, this is such an open area too. I don't think this like middle area would count as an area, but maybe around in here it would. Okay, I'm starting to think it's going to be one of these tents. Alright, well... I guess I am going to have to do this the hard way. Let's go get a thermometer and actually just scan through every one of these rooms. The main thing being these tents, because I think that's where it's going to be. Yeah, sanity is still really good. So if I can walk around with the lantern and scan some of these rooms, that'll be perfect. So uh, I don't know if I want to get a smudge on me. I'm not sure what I'm going to walk around with. Let's just bring in some stuff I can throw down and have it at the doorway. But I'm going to just take my time see this is just goes to show if you can't find the ghost you can get kind of lucky well you, you're gonna have to just start scanning with the thermometer and get lucky oh okay this is out so I'm just trying to make sure what I got here thermometer I want my big light and then yes so I'm going to have to well get into the this rhythm I'm gonna check every room and if it's yeah here then I'm not worried so let's pick this up walk in here and then start scanning some rooms. Well, luckily these tents aren't technically rooms. There's actually only one tent on this side that's... Well, <laughs> I just heard something. That means we're close. Alright, are you in this tent? One of these rooms is just going to be abnormally cold. I heard something out this way, didn't I? See, this might be another instance of Phasmophobia being a weird game. I may have heard that behind me. I was standing right here and I thought it was in front of me, but it may have actually just been behind me. So, actually, we scanned all the rooms in here. Let's go back the other way. Alright, well, it's nice and warm in the house here. Okay, that one was definitely in my left ear. So maybe you're actually in the shower, like I kind of thought. I mean, at this point, I've said it could be anywhere. Let me start with the showers, and then I will walk back out here. Let me scan the showers for the temperature, though, because that was also closer to where I heard stuff. Alright. Oh, I hear the shower on. Okay. There we go. See, it just took a little while to do something to give itself away. Now, I think the light switch for this is down here, so I really want this section on. Alright, this is so nice to have this lit up. Now, of course, right here, there's not really a light, but it's this you're supposed to turn on. Alright, you seem to enjoy in here. Now, whoa. I feel like the ghost might be able to walk through this wall. <laughs> That's one of my old memories. Oh, see, it's not even that cold. I bet. I bet it's this. I bet this is the ghost room. God, as soon as I walked in here, I thought... I, this is a ghost room, by the way. Like, this little area is considered a ghost room. Ah, alright. So, so yes, it does go through the wall, and then that little area is just considered its own room. God, let's get everything in here and just have like the tiniest ghost investigation ever. Put that back on the shelf, maybe. Hey, that actually landed. And then, yeah, you can turn on the light in here. Wow, this is going to be a strange one. When it comes to running, I'm probably just going to... I don't even really have a hiding spot. Maybe just the 
And the porta potty over there is gonna be my one actual hiding spot I'll get to. But look at this, I have so much stuff in here, I can already get like two trips of equipment without even having to go back to the truck. And luckily it is all just right here. Wait a minute, please don't be hunting me. I don't appreciate that light flashing. Let's take a look and see if we have a hard time finding ghost orbs in here, and I saw that. I don't like the flashing, but I saw that ghost orb. It was there for a split second. See there. <laughs> what a messed up ghost room this. Please, sir, what are you doing? I don't have my camera. Yeah, I do, and you just broke out the one light. Let's not get distracted. We have ghost orbs. Oh, okay. I forgot I had something blow out in here. Now, it was not freezing. So I, I pretty much just want to go ahead and say it's not, ah, one degree. That's like as low as it could go. I'm going to say it's not freezing, but I will check. Oh no, why does it have to be fast? Goodbye, cruel world. What the hell is this ghost? Did you not see me? Oh, you saw me. He turned around for a split second. Damn you, dude. All right, I guess I have no choice. What? What was it? Eh, it had to be a fae, because it... Had to be a Thay. Really? Has it to be a Thay again? Because a Raiju would have been even faster than that. That ghost was fast, but not like as fast as it could have been. Ah, oh, as soon as I find the ghost, I have to get killed by it. Well, it almost looks like sunrise now. Okay, this time I'm actually going to look. And it was a Raiju. So was it fast at the end there? I must have had my light on, right? Huh. Okay, so that is the Raiju fast speed. I guess the Blood Moons just really got me screwed up on what these ghost normal speeds are. It just seemed too slow for a Raiju, but again, I'm just used to Blood Moon speeds. So I'm gonna have to like relearn normal speeds. Alright, I'm willing to try this one again. Carla Williams, <laughs> Escape, Photo, and EMF Reader. So Breaker's in a better spot. I'm gonna do the same thing, but this time start with the Lantern, and I'm just gonna roam around. I'm gonna take the EMF, and not the camera. I want my big light, so there all right well we got lucky because there's it's the same weather it's not even worse but it's just a normal night windy i don't really know how windy can affect things okay this is nice i'm gonna go ahead and use this thank god we got a cursed item that'll tell me where the room is is this the oh oh that's right here <laughs> that's not the that's not the uh heaven that's this reception area okay good we have an easier game to do a round two on. God, you're throwing shit in here. No, I don't have the breaker, but the thing is the breaker's right here. I hear you. Breaker's right here. All right, this is a good game. But the thing is, I still need a hiding spot. Keep looking all the, at all these deer. Let's just go ahead and get more evidence in here. Oops. I, yeah, the lantern's over here. So I don't have a hiding spot. Let me go see if my favorite hiding spot over here is open. Ah, damn it. The one time I don't think to put on my headlamp, I usually grab it. I'll leave this light on, and then let's see. If this is open, my dreams will come true. I guess I'm just going to have to run away. I kind of want to just immediately start figuring out this ghost and not worry about a hiding spot. Usually, like, right in there is a hiding spot. All right, let me just go look. Where's that light switch? I guess I'll just run in here. See, this is like a proper hiding spot now with, like, all these blocking it. So there, I'll just use that one. I just realized, though, the stupid rides you killed me again. I didn't even realize if I had my own light on or what I had on me, so... Again, I'll have to look back and see what was going on there. Now, I thought it was a Thay, and it was just a little slower than normal. Also, what the hell is this sanity? Is this like a gin? Random drain? Okay, I guess I'll take more sanity. Uh, I want to figure out what this ghost is. So let's just get as much stuff in there to do that. Oh, I was like, wow, Jesus Christ, look at this sprinting. I never, wow, that is such a thing you need to be using, the tier three. I need to start experimenting with that. I still feel like I'm, wow, like getting kind of used to this game and I'm strongly just now starting to do like more advanced strategies. Where can I put this? It's actually good. I'm gonna put it here covering this doorway. So yeah, it's only a matter of time before I play around with more of the tier three stuff like that. Cause I, I kind of forget about the run boost. And you just turned that breaker off. Although, no you didn't. How did- wow, it sounded like it, but... I'm still on. Oh, that sounded like a pamphlet. And that sounded like two touches. Kind of like a twin. Also, now you're doing stuff over there. Okay, I put this down. I really want the light on. 
It was that EMF 5 by chance? That was a twig. Okay, I was just thinking about the writing. Thank you so much for doing that. I don't have much in here. I don't even have my camera. Let's get these lights back on for now. Hopefully I'll see dots if it goes through here. Let's get ghost writing. Not a Raiju, thankfully. It doesn't seem to be a shade. Alright, more evidence time. Look at the, like, bunny ears. What the hell is this graph? I've never seen something like this before. We have good sanity, though. Alright, just getting the other evidence in there. Well, I've died twice these last two map, you know, recordings for each of these maps, so I've died once for each time I visited it, but I think we'll be alright this time. I got really lucky with the spawn, and even this, we didn't even need this because we'd know where the ghost was anyway. Not down to freezing. Oh, let me check for fingerprints. There we go. UV. Demon miling or poltergeist? It was doing a lot. I don't like the idea of this being a demon, though. So let's go get a crucifix. Can it even be spirit box? Oh, yes. Oh, let's... Let's play it safe. I don't want to die again. I'm going to go get the crucifixes in here. Just for safety. I, demon can hunt whenever. So if it's a chance of being a demon, let me get these crucifixes in here. Because it'll even hate the crucifixes. And these they'll have a super long range, so... This should keep the demon at bay for now. But luckily I did drop all my stuff, so what should I bring in there? Do I bring in the smudge? Ah, I mean, I don't really need this unless I want photos. What's the objective? Escape? Ah, let's just get the smudge in there then and start lowering sanity. Oh, that was the poltergeist explosion. You saw that. Oh my god. What, are, what is going on? How am I getting so many poltergeists? Alright, well... I'm not gonna do what I did last game, but we saw it right there. You saw it through the doorway, so that's that's a really dynamic and cool way to see it. All right, I'm not a demon. Oh, the problem is though, I do need to survive a hunt. So at least let's put this out here, so it maybe won't start a hunt out here. And then I'm gonna, I don't know, put this one over here, so it really won't start a hunt over here. But I'm gonna try and, well, I'll be able to lower my sanity with the mirror. So is that what we need to do? Photo, uh. I mean, I can sit around. I don't have to get a photo of the ghost. I mean, as I've said, you don't always have to get, like, you know, the objectives to make a lot of money. I mean, the, the objectives are the main thing to make money. I don't even have a photo cam in here. So that's how little I care about, like, making money. I just am really trying to have fun playing the game on professional. And I know I should, like, be trying to play the game properly. So maybe I should get some photos in here, or photo cam. Maybe I'll get the salt, because this is... UV as well, so let me go get the photos, and let me hit this just to turn my sanity, and we'll see what my sanity is after this. Actually, wow, still pretty high. I'm gonna have to hit it again, but let's get all the salt in there. Oh, when I have my smudge still, damn it. Alright, well I'll have six things of salt to try and get photos, and maybe I'll get a lot of UV footprint photos. And also maybe this one will keep you from leaving. Because you have been going out a lot. And I don't really appreciate that. Throw this one away. I'm going to save this bottle until I need it. Did I not grab the camera? Of course I didn't. I'm going to drop the smudge too so that way I actually can bring something back. I'll bring back more smudges and actually get the damn camera this time. I don't know why I can't open that gate any farther. Wow, see that was another explosion. I don't know if that was the one we just saw or if it just happened again. Get the other salt. But we need the damn camera so please. Yeah, I see that, but don't worry, because guess what? The breaker is right here. I'm, again, dropping that. So we have, like, so much salt in here. I don't know if you've actually gone through any of these yet. It doesn't look like it. How have you not been through here? Alright. I want, yes, perfect UV in this mudge and everything. So, I can take a photo of that. What about UV? Oh, okay. Oh, is it the little footprints? Okay, I don't know what I'm taking photos of. Disturbed salt footprint. Let's charge up these. I hear ya. Oh, farming photos is fun. It's not even, like, I shouldn't be this worried about it. Because you can go through all these other salts. Turn the light back on, please. Any fingerprints over here? I might as well actually utilize the fingerprints ghost and get a whole bunch of photos. Alright, putting down more salt. Oh god. Surely you'll come through here, right? I'm gonna try and put one here. I don't know, put here. Come on, if you have to go through here at some point. 
Clearly this is still your room. I see my breath. Oh, and I can't check. And we are on professional, so maybe it won't actually move. So what is the last... Never mind, hold on. What is the last evidence for... I don't know, please be a good photo. Wow, how have I not, like, actually gotten more? And also, you didn't walk, you just kind of stood in it. Please walk around when you walk through the salt. Well, hopefully, it won't be roaming or changing its favorite room, even though we're unprofessional and it can happen. We got in a ghost event. Alright, yes, I do have my smudge on me. So I'm gonna hit this mirror, okay, again, and get my sanity. Probably, now we're in hunt range. Okay. <laughs> I said I'd fill out my book. Well, here I go. We only have one more. We need the ghost photo, though. That doesn't count as a ghost photo. I'm glad I thought about it. So, we <laughs> did keep one spot. Thank God I thought about it. Oh, where are you going? The problem is, we need a ghost event where you actually show up. And I think it did kind of show up earlier when I was worried about taking goat foot photos. So, ah. I, we do need to get hunted here, so I'll at least do that and prove maybe I can survive a hunt. I like how I'm following this ghost. Wow, that one sounded muffled, even though it was right in front of me. I'm following the ghost through its fingerprints and its footprints. How have you not gone through here, though? You went through one, but, like, how did you avoid this? Okay. I don't have a... I don't have my light. Okay, we're good. Oh, you went out the other side. I need to smudge... Mm -hmm. Do I need to escape the ghost? Are you here? I cannot hear you. This is bad. Oh, I think she saw me. Oh, oh my god, you see that throw? Alright, you do not need to come out this doorway. You just stay in there. That was also really cool. I love how you can see through those glass doors and they can't see you back, so it's actually kind of a good strategy. Alright, <laughs> no photo. That's a poltergeist. That's a poltergeist when it's machine gun levels of throwing. Alright. I'm not gonna worry about a photo of the ghost. I've done good here. I filled out my book, so there. Alright, I died though. I don't really want to die again. I think this was a good visit to Maple Lodge. Let me just check. Two of these. We know it's a poltergeist because we saw the explosion. And I was curious. What, what is the last thing for a poltergeist? Spirit box? I guess it is. Alright, I never... Asked. Ah, I didn't fill out my book entirely, but look, I want to survive. So I want to show that, like, we're still going to make some money here, and we don't always have to have a 100% complete game. So two objectives, on a whole lot of photos. No, I'm not... Yeah, let's just see what we get here. Oh my god, why is it so loud? <laughs> I have to leave that in, I'm not editing that. You have to suffer with me on that one. 1200. I'm pissed off that I didn't pay attention on that one game. I was just so busy talking about something else, but I need to actually pay attention here. Cabin Kitchen. Whatever. That was still a good game. 1200. I know it was a medium map, so you could get a little bit more, but that's why we still got like so much and didn't get a daily or anything. It's the only like 45 for photos, so still filling out the photo book isn't worth it unless you're going for a perfect game. But 200 investigation bonus, so maybe if taking more photos does get you more of an investigation bonus, it is worth it. So if you're still here, Thank you so much for watching, remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.